Today's video is going to be a productive day, basically. What is that? All right, we might just roll with this. A little Amazon unboxing time. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, wait, what is this? All right, I feel like I've done so much already today and it's only 10, which is insane. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going... <laughs> Or no. Today's video is going to be a um, productive day, basically, behind the scenes of filming, maybe a little unboxing, a little vlog, productive lifestyle, my skincare, come to the gym with me. I don't even know. It's just gonna be a really fun, entertaining vlog. Hopefully, if not, then I guess I suck as a YouTuber, but we'll get over that. It is hard looking this good in the morning. I'm just kidding. I look so bad. Yeah, I just woke up. Time to get up. Let's go. This has got to be made. We gotta do something with this hair. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna brush out my curls. I curled my hair yesterday. What is that? All right, we might just roll with it. Whatever. All right, you guys, I might be the worst skincare person ever, but I'm gonna show you guys my actual routine of what I do in the morning. Literally, all I do is this. Grab this little guy. All right, you guys, the best purchase I ever made on Amazon was this, and it's basically an ice cube. Basically, it just goes like this. You open up this top right here, and you fill it up with water, and then you freeze it overnight, and then it looks like one of those, I don't even know how to say it, like those gusha or those shoe, those things that like people use, I don't know, and you basically ice your face, and it feels so good in the morning. I don't know if it even is doing anything, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something, so that's good. But it does, one thing I know it does do is if you do wake up like puffy, and you have to be somewhere, it definitely like takes out the swelling of your face and it just feels really good. So I, I like to go up like this. Oh, it feels so good. And then I also like to get my eyelids. It is like pretty cold though on your face, but it feels so good. And it just starts melting, so you definitely have to do it like over a sink because it'll start dripping. I love it. TikTok, man, they make you buy the weirdest freaking things. Like never would I have thought I've been like icing my face. Guys, every time I try and do my makeup or anything in the morning, this little guy comes up and tries to love me. It's so cute. Let's be like, mom, mom, I need attention, I need love. Anyway, um, I wanted to say, okay, you guys really wanted to see like my skincare routine and all that, and I don't really have one. I just kind of like take my makeup off with a wet towel at night and then I ice my face in the morning and my skin has been looking so good. Now that could just be on a rare occasion, but it's been looking really good for a while. And I'm super happy because I was having a lot of months where it was looking really bad. But the thing that helped me is stop using all these like skincare products that are supposed to like help your skin. And honestly, I try and avoid any type of like skincare stuff just because I feel like my skin just doesn't react to it well. And another thing I also do is I use powder foundation instead of liquid foundation. My dermatologist, um, I went one time to some guy and he said that like liquid might make me break out more because my skin could get oily and he said to use dry. So I use the Max or the Max Studio Fix pressed powder and I really, really like that. My makeup routine these days is looking totally different than it used to. It's just so like, I don't know, it's just so basic, but I love it because I really don't like wearing a lot of makeup. I like like the clean girl makeup look, like hair pulled back, the bun, like slicking it and just like focusing on like your natural beauty. I don't know why, that's just like my thing recently, which don't get me wrong, if you do like crazy makeup, like that's dope. I think it looks really cool on other people. I'm just really liking like the dewy, glowy, natural look with like mascara, a little bit of highlighter and gloss. I love lip gloss right now. So I'll show you guys my routine. Also, if you need cute clips on Amazon, I got a huge pack of like this color and these type of style clips. And then also like black and like a cream color. It was just, so cute. So how I do mine is I literally just twist into a low bun and then I click and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It might look really ugly, I'm not sure. This is how I check the back of my hair. I use a mirror and use it with other mirror. So start with Mac Studio Fix and I put this all over my face. Literally I'm the most unprofessional makeup person in the world and that's why I love that I own a makeup company. I always feel like everyone thinks like, okay, you, you own a makeup company, like you have to know how to be a professional with makeup, but that's not true because I'm not the average makeup user. Actually, Actually, no, I am the average person. I feel like most people aren't like crazy into makeup. I'm more so fit with the everyday makeup people. You know, the ones that don't know how to do the crazy looks. And that's what I want to relate to because that's why I decided to make a makeup company 
because I was like, you don't have to feel like you're a professional to do your makeup, you know? Like, you just have to have your routine. So I used that, put it all over, and then I will go in with my JD Beauty Heartbreak Highlighter, which I swear by, I've literally never had a different highlighter except for this for maybe like three, four years now. It is the best highlighter in the world. Anytime like I, I run out of it, I go straight to the warehouse and go get a new one because this highlighter is amazing. Do you see it? Look how cute it is. So I put a little dab on my nose, a little bit right there, and then a little bit right there. And I love it. It's just like just enough. Get so many compliments on it, and I love when I'm always like, it's actually my company. It's so cute. Okay, and then if I'm filming, I'm doing a little bit more makeup that day. I'll go in with my She Said Yes makeup palette, and then I'll go in with the Yes color, this brown one right here. And I literally just like to put that in my crease just to add like a little definition. And then also, I normally only do this if I'm like filming a video or if like I'm trying to do my makeup a little more that day. Okay, so that's what the eyeshadow looks like. It's just really subtle, nothing crazy. And then I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Milk Gel Fiber. I don't know. I saw Hailey Bieber use it and I was like, I'm gonna try it out. I like it. I don't love it. I love the Anastasia um, brow pencil or like the twist one. That like makes my eyebrows look so good. But I do like the whole like gel look. I really want to try it. I think it's Patrick Ta's gel. I want to try that gel and then see. I'll, I'll give you guys my little update. Oh my gosh. Also, while we're here, I have to read you this DM that I got. I was so annoyed yesterday. I was reading my devotional, you know, just feeling good. And I wanted to post it on Instagram. Instagram just because I thought it was a really good message and then sometimes I always debate I'm like should I post this on Instagram or is it like like I don't want people to think I'm just trying to be like oh I'm a good Christian I'm posting this but like I genuinely just thought it was like a good message and I wanted to share it with everyone and it was a Bible verse and I'll show you guys what this girl freaking said to me because I was so like just like kind of like more like dumbfounded that people even think this way and it's a good thing I screenshot it because she deleted her messages which I thought was so crazy so I posted this Bible verse that was like take time and trouble to keep yourself spiritually fit. Bodily fitness has a certain value, but spiritual fitness is essential for both the present life and for the future life to come. There's no doubt about this at all, and Christians should remember it. It's just a really good, like, devotional, and I post on my story, which whatever. And this girl goes, I think it's great that you have a devotion, but I remember when someone asked you if you were Christian, and you said yes. I just thought it was kind of weird because you and Josh had had sex before marriage, which is against the Bible, and you guys curse a lot. You never show you guys going to church. It's like, how can I believe you're a Christian when you disobey the rules? Like, that's not being a Christian. I can't even believe people think like this. Like, what? Like, just because I claim to be a Christian, that means that you have to be a perfect person? Tell me one perfect person, please. Go ahead, go ahead and tell me. And Josh is like, why are you even giving this person like the time of the day? And normally like hate comments, I don't, but it's more so the fact that it's like, I don't want people out there thinking that like, oh, if you love God and you're a Christian, that means you have to be absolutely perfect because no one's perfect. Even this girl who might think she might be perfect, she's judging me, which is also a sin. So it's like, no one's perfect. And just, I wanted to tell you guys that just to remember you, because if you are religious, if you do make mistakes, like God still does love you, no matter what, you're not any less loved or you're not any any less of a Christian because you made a mistake. And I just feel like that like is something that gets under my skin because I do love God so much and it's always been a part of my life. And like, I have made mistakes in my life and I will always continue to make mistakes just because everyone always will. But I do love God and I do wanna try and do things to like not make as many mistakes because I love him. I just thought that was like a good message to share with you guys just because I'm like, how do people think that like, if you're Christian, you can only be Christian if you're perfect. That's not true. No one's perfect. Come on guys, my girl Hannah Montana said it best. Nobody's perfect, I gotta work it. Anyway, this is what the eyebrow gel does. It kind of like spikes them up and it adds like a little bit of color. And I like the little spiked up look. I don't like when they're too crazy. I like that, like the feathered look. And then I'm going in with my JDVD Don't Cry Mascara, which is my favorite in the packaging. You guys, this mascara is no joke. My eyelashes look so good. Okay, and then sometimes I line my lips, sometimes I don't. It depends on like how I'm feeling. But I have been using this Morphe Makeup Talk Lip Liner, and I don't overline my lips. I go right on it. I feel like, well, for me, if I were to overline my lips, it's like very obvious that I overlined them. Which also, I know I said this on Instagram. I've been getting these comments like, you got your lips on. I'm actually going to be addressing that in my Q&A video, but I'll address it here. I didn't get my lips done. See? They do look a little bit bigger though. I can't even lie. Like I can't even lie. They look bigger. Like if I wasn't me and I was like an outside looking and I'd be like, she definitely got her lips done. But I didn't. 
I know I'd say that because literally so many of my friends get their lips done. Like it's not a big deal. But I do appreciate all the comments because I'm like, do they look better? Or maybe they look really bad and everyone's like, she got a bad lip job. <laughs> then I'm using the Item Beauty Come Through Lip Oil. I did a review on this on this channel, like um, testing YouTubers products and I really liked it. But I will say over time, I kind of feel like it might dry your lips a tiny bit, but I can't confirm that. I'm just not sure. I do like this lip oil. I'm just not sure if it dries your lips out, but I kept putting it on. I like it. All right, you guys, it's time to film a Q&A for this channel, and I am in our guest room right now, and I have it all set up. I'm gonna film. I just wanted a different background, just to like, you know, switch it up a little bit. So I have some really, really good questions that I'm excited to answer in this, but I'm gonna use this SD card. I'll be back when I'm done filming this. All right, you guys, this is the new setup. I wasn't liking the lighting in the other room, so we decided to put it just in this corner of the pool table room. All right, you guys, this setup was golden right here. I kind of liked it. I just answered so many good Good questions like I feel like I got so deep with you guys on this and just about like religion about like body image friendships it was a good one it was a great one all right you guys a little Amazon unboxing time let's see what we got in here okay we got some frames okay wait what is this we got a little box let's see what's in it I don't even remember what I ordered. Oh, they're these cute little earrings. Okay, wait, maybe I'll have to put those in. Those are so cute. Okay, let's see what's in this guy. What is this? Oh, okay. So these are um, picture frames, and then these are what goes in the picture frames. So let's hope this is even good. I wanted to like put these up in my bathroom just because I feel like the bathroom needed a little something. I'll show you guys. Okay, so this is a bathroom. It's super, super plain. I was gonna put them up maybe on this wall or that wall. I'm not sure yet. All right, so this is the frame that I ordered. just like a wood frame, which will be really cute and I have four of them and I'm gonna hang them up in a stack of four. And then I gotta get the pictures open so I can show you. I can't open them. All right, you guys ready for this? Ooh, these are gonna look cute. Okay, wait, that's one of them. This is another, so boho, we love it. All right, you guys, so this is what they're looking like. They look so cute and totally match the vibe of the house. So I'm gonna go see if I can put these in the bathroom. All right, you guys, I'm gonna make my coffee and I just have to say, oh, Josh didn't clean this out last time. Shame on him. If you guys wanna know how I make my coffee in my espresso machine, you guys should definitely go watch the other productive vlog I did. I'll leave up the thumbnail right here. That's what it looks like. Basically just did the same thing as this morning, but like different activities throughout the day. Just basically like a productive morning routine type thing. Also super random, but if you guys do take pre-workout, this Alani pre-workout, the Rocket Pop is so fire. I love that they just sent us that and that was really sweet of them. Anyway, time to make my espresso shot. Call me barista, Katie. Mm. It's funny because I didn't really know there was anything to being a barista, but there definitely is. Like you have to know a lot, but like when I was younger, it's like, oh, you just pour the coffee, like that's it. No, if you get a bad barista, it's a bad day. No, I'm just kidding, but it is bad when your coffee sucks and you order it. But there's also way worse things in life. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta pull my shot. Please be good. Also, you guys, look at this. It's like we actually have like a coffee shop. I have all these different flavors. So good. If you guys know what video that's from. All right, you guys, I'm gonna make some toast in the air fryer. I probably should put tin foil down, but I'm feeling kind of lazy, so I'm just gonna call it a day. Boom. All right, you guys, I have my clax classic, classic avocado toast breakfast, and then, ooh, got some coffee. And then, you know, you always gotta have a JD jug nearby just cause I gotta drink these, you know? Gotta get that water intake. Okay guys, so I'm currently on my phone trying to make a little like, kinda like a TikTok or like a reel of the past couple days, cause it's been so fun. Like literally, I'll show you guys a little bit. So, I'm gonna turn the volume down though. So we went skydiving blindfold, which was insane. And by we, I mean me, cause Josh didn't do it. He was like filming me. So I jumped out of a plane without even being able to see and then we went to this place and we went on these water slides which were insane and they sent me down blindfolded which was so scary and then after that Josh took me to a barber shop and cut off my hair or so I thought and I was blindfolded I didn't know where we were it was really embarrassing it's like probably one of the funniest YouTube videos I think we've ever filmed so I'm super excited for that video to come out we've just had been having so much fun recently like we went to get coffee with this one couple they're really really sweet we went to a new coffee shop in Gilbert it was so fun and then 
what did we do yesterday? Josh went to iFly, I know that. So he went to iFly and learned how to fly and skydive. That's like his favorite thing. And then we went to a sports bar with some other friends and then we hung out with them. And then with them, we went to our friend Rachel and Ricky's house and then um, we just played cards. So it was like a really, really fun time. And it's just been, I don't know, life's been good. I've been having a lot of fun here in Arizona. I'm very excited to go back to Michigan. I don't know if we told you guys, we told our VIP, but we are going back to Michigan for 4th of July, which I'm so pumped about because I miss all my family and friends there. I'm also gonna now miss my friends here, but I'm excited to go back into my family. Mm. 10 out of 10. All right, you guys, time to clean the house. You know, just Saturday things, gotta get life back in order. So let's get to it. All right, you guys, Katie the Builder does not play. I have to build these shelves, which I have a ton of them already, like you just saw right in the garage and in my closet, but I ordered way too many, but I gotta build them. So maybe I can put them like in the guest rooms or even in mine, because sometimes we just have too many shoes and we need to organize them. So I'm gonna build all these. We're gonna time lapse it. Let's get to work. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. I already kind of had mine and um, Josh had smaller shelves, like thinner and shorter. So I made these ones, put them here for him. I made three of them. I'm so tired right now. And then I put the old ones in his closet so he can have shoes in his closet as well. And just look how organized that is. We love it. Guys, how cool is this? This is my first 100,000 subscriber plaque from this channel. Like that is so sick. That's so cool. I love it. All right, I feel like I've done so much already today and it's only 10, which is insane, but I really don't have too much much to do. I don't really feel like working out just yet. I don't know if I'm gonna wait for Josh B to get home, work out with him. I don't know. I have to meet my friend later to get my nails done, but that's at four. And then I might just watch an episode of the Kardashians because I normally do that on Saturday because Josh B probably wouldn't want to watch that. So like I do it when he's like gone. So maybe I'll go do that. All right, you guys, I just spent the last hour outside taking pictures with like a little margarita glass by the pool and I think they turned out so cute. Like I wasn't even gonna do a photo shoot. I was just like gonna lay out and then I was like, oh, you know what? Like I did my makeup today. Let me see if I can take a couple pictures. And then I was like, wait, this picture would look so much cuter with a margarita in it. And then I made a margarita as like a little prop and it looked so cute. And um, I just really like the picture. So this is what they turned out look like. I'll pop up a couple on the screen and I love them. But now I'm eating a Thai chicken salad and the chicken is actually in the air fryer because since I was taking pictures, my food got here maybe like five minutes ago or nah, for like 20 minutes ago. All right guys, Sean. Josh and B's home and I, we Sean. missed him. Daddy's home, Sean. He's so excited. Hi. Daddy's home. <laughs> this is my baby boy. Did you have fun at skydiving? Baby boy. Do you have some cool jumps, bro? <laughs> Savage jumps, dude. So. Savage was standing here, bro. Uh. Guys, Topper's yeah. crazy. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I look like someone's grandma in this. Jeez, but I love it because it covers, judge. it like, you know, it covers all the sun out of your face. It's good. It is good to have because um, there's a lot of sun here in Arizona. Yeah. It's hot. All right, guys, we're going to go swimming and then maybe I'll throw a little B roll montage in there. Topper, are you having so much fun? Go get it. Go get Daddy. Go. Come go on. get Daddy. Go. Go Topper, go, go, go. Go get Daddy, come on. Go. Ooh, look at that jump. All right, you guys, I got a ton of sun. I'm literally so dark right now, but I had to work on those tan lines. How cute is this bathing suit? I love it. But I have to change because my friend and I are getting our nails done soon, so gotta get my wet bathing suit. All right, you guys, I am headed to my nail appointment, which um, it's time for these bad boys to go. And then I'm meeting my friend Bella at the nail salon, and we are gonna get our nails and our toes done. It's a must needed thing. Also, guys, I'm really dying out here because the car is probably 120 degrees inside, and like the AC just doesn't work right away. So it's just one of those things about Arizona that you just gotta like embrace because you know you don't have to deal with the snow. So life's not perfect everywhere, but I do love the heat, but this is hot, baby. It's real hot. Ooh. So many oh, pretty colors. All right, guys, I'm getting my nails done. I'm with my friend Bella. Bella, say what's up. What's up? What's up, vlog? <laughs> <laughs> is this your first time on camera on a vlog? No, I used to vlog all the time in high school. Oh, she's Honestly, basically a YouTuber I, at this point. I mean, yeah, yeah. I just... 
I vlog. She's like, I'm an influencer. If you <laughs> link down below, add subscribe. <laughs> All right, guys, the nails are done. Let's see them. Ba bang. I copied Bella. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Matching. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is a wrap on the day. My nails turned out so stinking cute. We just went and got some protein drinks, and then I came home. Now we're gonna go to some friend's house, and then we're gonna go watch, I think, like a hockey game or something. Yeah, so we're gonna go to some friend's house, and then we are going to iFly again. Joshua B is obsessed, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I thought it was like really fun just because it was like a little like productive day, but then also like just like a vlog, and like, I don't know. I just like vlogging with you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.